Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be focusing on another AI tool from the portrait tools here in Luminar Neo. More specifically, today we are looking at the body AI. Now, for those who use this tool before, they know that there are only two sliders there. So this is going to be a quick tutorial. However, as we're trying to subscribe all the different sliders in this application, it's important that we cover this tool too. So let's jump straight into it. We are here in Luminar Neo, we are in edit module, and as you can see, we are in the tools right now focusing on the portrait section. Now we have covered portrait bokeh, face, skin, and now we're looking at the body AI. So let's open it, bring it up, and let's look at the two different sliders. But first of all, let's talk about what the body AI tool does. It's actually very simple. The body AI tool shapes a subject, torso and abdomen. Now we have a two sliders here. The first one called shape and this slider slims or adds volume to the subject's torso. So let's try it. First of all, when we go towards the right, we make the person slimmer. And when we go towards the left, we make the person a little bit wider, as you can see on the example on the picture right there. Now, as always, two things to remind you when we're using these sliders, please make sure that you push them all the way so you can really see the difference on your own images rather than trying to just add a little bit and then not clearly understanding what these sliders do. So it's no point to go a little bit, just go all the way. After that, if you want to reset any of the sliders, all you need to do is to double click on their name and they reset to zero or their default value. So that was the shape. Once again, you can make the person slimmer or wider. And then we have the abdomen. Now this slider pinches in a subject's abdomen to remove the volume. So let's have a look at it. When we push the slider, focus on this area of the image, it's kind of going in and it's trying to make the person look a little bit slimmer. Now in a combination of the shape and abdomen, you can really create some nice transformation to your portrait photos. And when you're going to look at the rest of the tutorials covering the portrait, you will also know there are some additional tools you can use for this. So we can, for example, start by um, adding the shape and basically make the person a little bit slimmer. Then we can adjust the abdomen and to finish it off, we can jump into the face AI and in face AI, we have the option to slim the face. And when we do that, it all matches nicely together and really creates a new look for the person you're photographing. So now we have covered all the sliders for the body AI tool and we should do some further editing. So we have a two more images to work on. And before we're going to work on them, just a quick reminder, if you want to follow me along and do the editing on your own computer, all you need to do is to follow the link in the description that will bring you into our Dropbox account. And from there, you can simply download the files. So the first image we're going to be working on is this young lady. And once we're ready, we can move the picture into the edit module. Here in the edit module, we are going back to our portrait section and once again, the body AI. Now looking at her, it's not like she needs any additional slimming or work on her abdomen. However, as an example of somebody who is sitting sideways towards the camera, I think it's good to know that it also works on these kind of situation and compositions. So starting with the shape, let's start by making her a little slimmer so you can see how that work. What I really like is when we do this edit is how the rest of the image is managing to stay pretty natural. Look 
look at it. I mean, I know the window moves a little bit, but it's nothing crazy and it's not as visible as you would expect it to be. And similarly, when you go the other way, the doors still stay pretty much straight. So I'm very impressed by this tool. So uh, maybe she's too skinny. So let's say we add her a few kilos and then we move into the abdomen. How is it going to work for her here? Yeah. So you can see again, focusing on this area, how it's getting all slimmer and smaller. Now to finish it off once again, as I mentioned on the previous example, we can go into the face AI and see if we can maybe slim her face a little bit from here. Now, as you can see, when we move the slider, it does a little bit of adjustments to it. And once again, you can combine these three sliders together to create the best possible outcome. And now the example number two, we're going to be working on this image of the couple. So let's bring it into the edit module. And once again, I want to show you and test how this tool works on couple. So anytime there is more than one person. So we are again focusing on our portrait tool. And in this case, we're looking at the body AI. So let's start by adjusting the shape. And as you're looking at them, you can see that it's working on both of them. Now, I quite like what it does here as well as here. So I think little slimmer works very well. And then let's have a look at the abdomen. If it does something, well, it does more on the gentleman than the lady. Actually, on the girl, it's a little bit weird. However, uh, at least it works on both of them at the same time. Uh, to finish it off, let's try the face AI as well. And let's see if the slim face will work on them. So we will shift it. And again, looking at his face, it's working. Her face, not so much. So really in this case, I think the edit and the transformation work much better on him. And now what would you do in this case when really you want to use these tools, but you don't want to use them on both of the people? Well, this is where the masking step in. So let's finish the edit here. Let's just slim the face for the guy and let's close this tool. So now, because we close both of these tools, they move into the edit tab right here. So we click on that and we know that we have our face tool here and we can have a look at the before and after. And we also have our body AI tool here, which will show you again before and after. And let's assume that what we want to do is we want both of these tools to be applied only to the model here, to the gentleman. So what we're going to use is the masking tool. Now, if you never use the masking tool, we have a great tutorial on YouTube already about masking here in Luminar Neo, and you should see the link in the corner of your screen now. So we're going to use the add mask button here, and we're going to make sure that we on paint mask. We're going to make sure that we on the brush and we will adjust the size according to the size of the model. Now, at this moment, the body AI adjustment is applied to both of the people. However, the moment I'm going to start to paint over the guy, the effect and the adjustment will disappear and it will only start to be applied wherever I'm going to brush. So let me show you. So I'm going to just make one click, one brush, and you can see that it kind of disappeared on both of them. But now when I'm going to start painting on him, the effect will start to be applied only to him. Let's have a look at it. Let's just paint. Let's take our time. Let's paint all over him. And when we let go the mouse, you can see the effect is applied to him. So that's what we would do here. And we would do exactly the same process for the face. So we would move into our face AI, again, add mask, again, making sure that we are on paint mask, that we paint, then we can adjust the size to make it a little bigger. And now again, the moment I'm going to start to paint, the effect will disappear from the image and it will only start it to appear wherever I'm going to paint. So let's do that and let's paint all over the face of the guy. And there you have it. So let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the result. This is how you make adjustment to one person when the tool originally was applied to both of them. Okay, so to wrap up this quick tutorial, we're going to once again talk about the body AI tool. There are two sliders in it. One is called shape and that slider slims or adds volume to the subject torso. And then we have the abdomen slider, which pinches in a subject abdomen to remove the volume. 
Those two tools are really cool and they work very well with the Face AI tool and its Slim Face Slider. Now, when it comes to working with all of these tools, including Body AI, don't forget that you can also use the Masking tool to really apply the effect only where you want it to be. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.